Hello, Bulldogs. Welcome back for uh, this week's Bulldog Blast for March 13th. Uh, this week I'm going to be focusing on the new high school office as well as the new district office. Uh, those are both actually currently underway in the demolition stages. I'll share some uh, updated demo photos with everybody. Also walk through uh, the purposes of these renovations as well. So stay tuned and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so this kind of looks familiar to everybody. This is the north side of the high school. This is going to be the uh, new district office entrance. Um, so this will be secured during the school day from 8 o'clock to 3 o'clock for only visitors that are coming into the district office. All other visitors that are going to the high school will have to report through uh, doors W1 through the new high school secured office entrance. However, students, our student drivers that drive to and from school will be able to enter these doors before school and exit them after school. Um, just they won't be able to know students or visitors unless they are coming directly to the district office. We'll be able to utilize this entrance during the normal school day and that is for safety and security purposes for our students. Okay, so I'm going to apologize ahead of time. We do not have any current 3D renderings uh, like we do for the multi-purpose room, um, the new athletic entrance. We don't have any of those interior renderings. We do have some blueprints, some furniture layouts, uh, but no 3D renderings. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to walk everybody through, uh, through what, what's going to be happening with these spaces um, during the demolition phase as well as the construction phase. What you will notice uh, first and foremost is this is our current home ec area uh, right here. Um, Mrs. Ellsworth, that's our cooking lab. Uh, this is her uh, classroom area right in here. Uh, those two areas are going to be demoed with Mrs. Ellsworth retiring. That programming is going away. Uh, thus, we're able to move the uh, new district office over to the high school to be able to allow some future expansion here at the elementary. All the reg notes everything that's going to be demoed uh, within the construction project. Uh, the other thing that you'll we need to focus on is the library space, um, all the office spaces as well as just the library itself in general. Those are all going to be demoed to free up space for the new secured high school uh, office area that's going to create that new secured entrance that uh, has visitors report directly to the office rather than going through our student hallways and, and be able to be present with our students prior to checking in um, with uh, our office staff. So uh, this just shows the demo, like I said, this just shows the demo uh, phase within the construction project for the new district office as well as the uh, new high school office. Okay, what we have for everybody to see here is uh, a blueprint with a furniture layout of the uh, new high school office. Uh, a couple things we'll, we'll start to note here is the main purpose for relocating the high school office to the current library was to be able to create a secured entrance off of doors W1. So when visitors or students enter in during normal school hours, they'll enter in through these doors. Um, these doors, sets of doors will be locked. Uh, and then from there, what they'll, they'll be directed into the high school office through a secured entrance uh, right here. And they'll, they'll be able to check in with our secretary and, and or school resource officer uh, to identify where they're going to be going, uh, what they're going to be doing in the building, um, scan through our Raptor security system as well. Um, so that's the, the main reason for relocating our office over there. Uh, another thing we kind of mentioned before is through doors into our student drivers will be able to enter these doors uh, before and after school hours, but during normal business hours, uh, eight to three, only visitors that are coming directly into the district office will be able to go through these doors. These doors during school days will always be locked uh, to prevent any visitors from getting into the rest of the uh, building uh, with our students and staff without checking um, into the high school office uh, through our Raptor security system. Uh, again, after after three o'clock, students can leave. Before three o'clock or before eight o'clock, students can come in through those doors. Um, but we wanted to create that secure entrance uh, for us. Uh, next, when we talk about specifically just the high school office, we have a reception area for guests and visitors. We have an area for our school secretary as well as a, a substation for our school resource officer as well. Uh, we have a new nurses station, nurses office. We have a large uh, conference room to accommodate eight to ten people for uh, 
different conferences that we have going on during the day. Uh, we have two staff restrooms on the inside of the office for all of our office faculty to be able to utilize. And we have two staff restrooms that are accessible from the hallway as well. Um, we have our assistant principal's office, athletic director's office, principal's office. Um, we have guidance offices uh, over in here as well. Uh, we have our uh, data, uh, all, who's also our assistant uh, athletic director and PR person. Um, we'll be able to have an office here as well. And we have our um, student services or guidance reception area right here. Um, so that really kind of takes uh, and shows you a look of what that new high school office area is going to look like uh, going forward when it's, when it's completely done. Timeline, this is the space that's currently being remodeled right now. It's being uh, demoed. I'll show you some photos at the end of this uh, video uh, to highlight those demo areas, but we will be looking to, as long as timelines meet, be looking to uh, relocate into this office. Our high school staff will relocate into this office uh, over Christmas break during the 23-24 school year. Okay, so now I want to talk about part of that library uh, and home ec area that's being currently being demolished uh, and getting ready to be renovated. Uh, we're going to talk specifically about the corporation office portion of this. So again, when visitors come in through doors N2, uh, during normal business hours, they're going to be directed directly into the corporation office. They will not have access through these interior doors. Those will be secured and locked from 8 to 3 every day. Um, any students that come in after 8 o'clock will have to walk around uh, the west side of the building and enter in through doors uh, W1 and check in at the office. Any visitors that come in to visit the building will have to enter through doors W1 uh, if they're visiting specifically the junior senior high school. Uh, just some things with the uh, new corporation office. We have a reception area here for the corporation secretary. Uh, we have our um, corporation treasurer's office. We have our corporation's human resource uh, personnel office. We have a little storage closet. Uh, we have a couple of faculty restrooms. We have a workroom. And we have a superintendent's office with a small uh, conference room attached to it as well. Across the hall, we, we have taken our foods lab and uh, divided it up to be able to provide some additional storage for our high school kitchen staff, but then also utilizing the rest of the room as a additional conference room slash school board room or community meeting room. Um, so our monthly board meetings will be held in this room, but during the day it'll, it will serve as a professional development area for our staff, uh, be able to serve as a multimedia uh, use center for staff and or students uh, as deemed necessary by the corporation uh, office and or high school staff. Okay, so the next several slides are just going to be uh, real-time photos from that I took last Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as the construction process has started uh, here at Clinton Central. Again, we're starting with that current library area, uh, working on demo there. So I'm going to go through a few photos here just to show you uh, what's going on. So this is looking northwest at where the uh, old library would have been. Uh, the contractors come in and put in metal studs and drywall to secure all dust and debris and keep any students, um, staff from being in that area um, during the school day uh, when they're working on that area. Okay, so this photo just shows down that north hallway there. Again, that temp wall has expanded all the way down to the north from the west doors uh, at the front of the high school down to the north doors heading out to the north parking lot. Um, again, metal studs, drywall to keep all that uh, separated from our students during the day. This photo is looking back towards the uh, southwest, uh, looking from the uh, doors into uh, back down to the uh, main high school office. Uh, you can see how they partition that off so that nobody can have access during the day. They can keep those doors shut to keep students uh, out of there, keep uh, uh, any staff or faculty that shouldn't be in there out of there as well. Um, and they're just going to continue to work on that demolition uh, within that library and the home ec uh, uh, lab space. Uh, so Tecton, our project manager, has been busy uh, last week. They've removed some of those lockers along that west wall uh, that kind of uh, butted up next to the library. So those lockers have been removed to prep those walls for uh, demo. 
All right, so here are some photos from last week at the end of last week that show uh, just the uh, demolition phases that are going on within the library. So the ceiling tile has been removed, ceiling grid has been removed, they're starting to demo out walls. Okay, so this is in the far northeast corner of the library, looking at the uh, old offices that were within the library, looking kind of towards the west or southwest there. Uh, you can see the ceiling tile grid and everything's been removed and they're starting to demo out walls over in this area as well. Okay, so this is in the uh, far northeast, or northwest, sorry, excuse me, northwest corner of the library, uh, looking back towards the southeast. Uh, again, you see the ceiling tile grid's been, been removed. Uh, they've got it marked off where they're going to be demoing out these walls uh, for these offices to open up the space to be able to create their new walls for the new offices going forward. Okay, so this is um, the old uh, home ec classroom area. Uh, they've already started to obviously taking out all the ceiling tile, ceiling grid, lights, electrical's been taken out for the most part other than temporary lighting that they have. Uh, they have started to demo out this wall right here as well uh, and we'll continue to move forward uh, with that demolition process this week. Okay, so this photo kind of brings together the library and that uh, back office area conference room of the library and opening up the space uh, for that uh, home ec classroom that we had as well. They have completely demoed out this wall. Last week they will continue on with this wall right here. Uh, this week um, and, and just continue to demo out things. Uh, we, they are going to come in and remove the flooring this week as well. Um, and we'll just continue on with that demolition process uh, over the next couple of weeks within that library space. Okay, well that's uh, all I have for you guys this week. Uh, I'm sorry we don't have those interior renderings of the uh, new high school office or district office space, um, but hopefully you're able to get a little bit of an insight of what that space is going to look like based upon the blueprints and how I was able to kind of describe and walk through those spaces. Um, next week, uh, I think we're going to be moving on to the new media center uh, and talking about that. Uh, we do have interior renderings of what that will look like, so we'll be able to share that along with possibly some blueprints as well. Uh, and then also provide some uh, uh, updated photos of the demolition phases that are currently going on uh, within the, the uh, library space. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you have any questions as it relates to the building project or any other matters, there's my contact information. I uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. And uh, hey, as always, go Bulldogs.